Hi Parul, your doubt was about the test that we all had done for joint products and by products. One of the best questions that was there. Okay, so I'm taking some time to be explaining that question because I think the explanation was supposed uh, was uh, something that you want. In this question, you all have process one, which caused this much output of one lakh units. Now this output comes out in the ratio of 1 is to 1, 50,000, 50,000 of two products, AXC and BXC. AXC cannot be sold at this stage, BXC cannot be sold at this particular stage. AXC will have to be taken to process 2 which costs 1 lakh 50. Once AXC process is over, two products will come out, CXC and DXC in the ratio of 7 is to 3. So uh, 50,000, 7 is to 3 means 35,000 and 15,000. Okay, further. Further, in this particular case, uh, CXC cannot be sold at this stage. It will be compulsory taken to process 4. It will be processed further. And then it can be sold at the rate of 18. So, 35,000 in this case into 18. This particular figure will be 6,30,000. Okay, that is one thing. Now, DXC, there are two options. Either you sell here only at 14.4. So, 14.4 into 15,000, 2,16,000 will be the sales value. Do remember, DXC can be sold at split of point. Can be, can be. Or there is one other option, process 5. You take it to process 5, which will cost 1 lakh rupees. And then you sell it at the rate of 20.8. So, 15,000 at the rate of 20.8 will make it 3,12,000. Okay. <coughs> so, for DXC, it can be sold at split of point or it can be taken further. Okay. Then, BXC cannot be sold over here. It will be taken to process 3 which will cause this much. This will be the output. It will get converted into a product called as EXC. Once it goes inside process, sorry, uh, EXC also, the moment it is produced, it cannot be sold over here. It will be now going to process 6. But in process 6, loss of 5% will happen. So, therefore, in this case, 50,000 less 5%, 2,500 will give you output of 47,500. That's it. Apart from that, in this case, in process 6, there is cost. Process 6 cost is how much? 97,000. But those 2,500 units loss over here can be scrapped at the rate of rupees 2. So, 5,000 rupees will get recovered back. So, therefore, 92,000 will be your cost. Now, this was your entire data. Okay. So, finally, 47,500 units will get sold at the rate of 15.2. So, sales value will be 7,22,000. There were two works in this, in the part first itself. What was the part first? Part first was... Divide joint cost among the joint products. So, therefore, your joint products are what? AXC and BXC because they are result of this common process. CXC and DXC because they are result of this common process. So, therefore, there were two joint costs. Process 1, process 2. You divide this particular cost first and then you divide this. Because whenever you are going to be uh, dividing 541, 500, part of that will come over here. That particular part will be clubbed with 1,50,000 and then will get divided among C and D. It's common sense. C and D should get share of process 2 cost and should get share of process 1 cost also because process 1 cost is also incurred no, for C and D. Okay. How to be doing it? Sir, no method was given. Then what to do? Then we always try to be thinking, let's follow our best method. Our best method is always sales value method. But see, first thing that I started to write down and that was... Let's divide this cost among A and B. As I told, which method? Output method we don't follow. There's a worse method. Sales value method we can't follow because A and B cannot be sold as split of point. Therefore, we follow notional sales. How do we get a notional sales value? Notional sales value works like this. AXC cannot be sold over here. Process it further. Sell it in form of C and D. C can be sold. 2,16,000. But C cannot be sold. So, therefore, for C, you try to get your notional sales value. How do you get your notional sales value? 6,30 minus this particular figure. That is 5 lakh. So, therefore, 5 lakhs plus 2 lakhs 16,000, that will give you 7 lakhs 16,000. If AXC is processed further and then sold, it can be sold for 7 lakhs 16. But if it was sold like that only, you will not be incurring 1 lakh 50,000. So, 7 lakhs 16 minus 1 lakh 50,000, this will be 5 lakhs 66,000. This is notional sales value of AXC. Then of BXC was very simple. 7,22,000 is one particular figure. If BXC was sold at this particular stage only, will not incur 92, will not incur 1,8. So therefore, if this was sold over here, we'll sell it for how much here? 5,22,000. 
So this figure you divide among A and B in what ratio 566 is to 522 that was the first working note that I had prepared over here 541 500 we divide in this particular ratio we get these two parts whatever is this particular part 281 700 this particular part will start to get merged with this and then we'll divide that among C and D obviously in which ratio in the ratio of notional sales value is to sales value okay. That was your first part. Second part in this particular case was all about this. That you try to find out that would you like to process DXC further or not. The solution for that was very simple. If you process it further, you get 3,12. If you sell it off like that only, you are going to be getting 2,16. Extra, you get 96. But extra cost is 1 lakh. Do not process further and then sell. Job over. Okay. So, conclusion was do not process. Last one. Find out the profitability of the company if you are going to be selling DXC like that only. So therefore, this will be sales, this will be sales and this will be sales. There will be three sales over here of C, D and E. And lastly, in this particular case, there will be cost. Cost will be process 1, process 2, process 3, process 4, process 5 will no longer be coming. Process 6 will be coming. Okay. I hope Parul, I have answered your doubts. Okay. Thank you. Bye.